in 0 0.1 miles. Time to turn right. Use your signal. I love going on road trips. I love going to camp. I love going on trips, taking students different places. One of the things that can be really difficult is driving and getting students engaged in conversation besides just the person sitting in the passenger seat. And so I have two ideas I want to share with you that I think could really up the game in your road trip wherever you are going to. Hey, my name is Eric with a K and I'm the host of the Practical Youth Ministry Tips podcast and I'm really thrilled that you're here. If you haven't been around, lots of stuff, you can click back. I've got tons and tons of videos, all youth ministry oriented, games and strategies and parents and volunteers and, and outreach events and all that stuff. But today I want to focus on two ideas I have for making your road trip a ton better, fun, exciting, and engaging. So, the first one is this. There is an app that I use whenever I drive anywhere, and it's called Waze. I've been using it since it first came out, before Google bought it, and back in the day, it used to have, you know, depending on the season, they'd have like cupcakes or cookies or whatever along the road, and you, should, you were supposed to drive around to kind of eat them. James Bond would love this cupcake. To increase the user experience for later on for others uh, but now it's this established GPS program and here's what it has it has the ability it has a bunch of different voices and they constantly have sponsored voices so celebrities coming on all that stuff but you can create your own voices I've done this with my family so my family one day years ago Everybody in the family sat down and we recorded all the different prompts or most of the prompts because there's a ton of prompts. And that still is my main voices for when I travel. So I want to show you how to use Waze to record your students' voices when you travel. And here's what's awesome. Like I would recommend you, you actually do the recording a week before, two weeks before you go on your trip. Have the students sit down before or after youth group, whenever you're together, and just say, okay, I'm gonna press record. This is the phrase I want you to say. You can give them a little, say you can be a little creative as long as it says this key phrase and you only have a certain amount of seconds to say it. Because uh, my kids uh, had a blast doing all sorts of crazy extra pieces to their recordings. Like there's one about police ahead. My daughter's like, don't get pulled over. I see Felice. That kind of thing. So you can have a lot of fun with it. But I want to show you how this works. So we're going to go ahead and, and uh, screen record here. And, upper, and I'm using my iPad, so it, it looks slightly different on your phone. Uh, but I'm using that to record this here. So you click on the three lines there. And then you go into your settings. And you see here it says voice and sound. And you click on Waze voice. And here's all the different things, pops, 90s pop star, uh, noir detective, uh, Jonas Brothers, dad jokes. I did that one for a little while. My kids really did not love that. Jennifer Hudson, resolution buddy, lots of languages. So anyhow, you can see here recorded by you, uh, Williams family. That's what I have currently. Now add a voice. Your recordings are used to record to guide you on the road, make sure they're clear and accurate. Okay. Name your voice. So you just go in here and call it uh, uh, Summer Trip Youth Group. All right. So now we go in it. And here you see all of the things that you can record. So all set, let's go. We just click on that. We click on the record button. And then we click it again. All right, let's get on the road. It's time for youth group fun. Summer trip camp. Here we come. Now you can play it back. All right, let's get on the road. It's time for youth group fun. Summer trip camp. Here we come. You save it. You're happy with it. That's great. Now it shows you on the right-hand side which one you've already recorded. Uh, so those are all, all beginning ones. You can do another one. Summer camp, here we come. 
There's another one we can do. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please make sure you are buckled and your seat tray and table is upright position. Here we go. So those are just like the fun ones. Uh, now, there, I mean, you can see there's a whole bunch there. Now we can do record these in 0 0.1 miles. Do all that. Hey, Eric, keep left. Exit right. I mean, you can see how this works, right? And then... And then... Uh, so, police reported. Hey, hey, don't get pulled over. I see the popo. -po. So, I mean, you can see all this. You can see, you see all the different things here. Keep right. Hey, hey, turn left. Turn left. Turn left. Time to turn right. Use your signal. So there you go. There you see. Now you can see which ones I've recorded already. Uh, and then you just click save. And now you can use your summer youth group voice. And that's what's, what goes on there. And now once you go, where are we going? So there you see. It's pretty simple in how it works. Adds a little fun element. Then all the students get to hear their voices on the different pieces of the trip as you go along. I think it would be really, really fun to do with your group. Try it out. I would love to hear how it goes once you do it. All right. So drop a comment after you've watched this and you've actually done it. Let me know. Tell me how, how it went with your students. The second thing, uh, before I get to the second thing that I think would really help your road trip, I want to tell you uh, a little note from our sponsor. The sponsor today is me. So I love to empower, encourage, and equip youth pastors. I've been in the youth ministry game for 31 years. Uh, if you don't include the seven years of working at camp before that when I was in high school and college. But I, I absolutely love it. I'm a certified youth ministry coach, and I love to come alongside youth pastors in two major ways. One, in actual coaching. So we can have a coaching relationship. You can go to ericwithak.com and check out a little more information about that. And I, I love to come alongside, help you move forward from where you're at. So if there's things you want to talk about that you're like, I don't know what to do in this situation, I love to come and help you talk through that unpack what you're where you're stuck and help you to find the answers into moving forward and having victory and growing and all of that stuff so i love doing that with youth ministry coaching also i love to come alongside encourage and power equip at your event so if you need someone who speak need to you need somebody to speak at your camp or conference retreat maybe you have a youth pastor gathering uh, i recently spoke at our thrive conference uh, at bayside church and I did all four breakout sessions for youth ministry track. I did one on effectively leading difficult students. I did one on the full circle youth ministry strategy. I did one on mastering small groups. And I did one on using your resources creatively. So I love to do that kind of thing as well. I've been speaking at camps and conferences around the world and around the country. And so I'd love to come to you. So reach out to me. Let me know if that's something that you are in need of. All right, back to the video. So the second thing that I think would be really fun for your trip is this little book I put together. This is the Youth Ministry Travel Book, Travel Game Book. And inside of it, there's a whole bunch of games, uh, no prep games, stuff you can do, just simple, you don't have to prep. There's uh, crosswords, there, there's uh, word finds, and it's all like archery, zipline, camp, paintball, bonfire, rope swing, cabins, arts and craft, bubble soccer, mountain bike. So it's all like based around what we do at camp. Uh, there's hangman. Uh, these try to figure out what the phrase is. USA license plate, like so find on your trip. There's these mazes, the youth pastor to the students, zipline to cafeteria. Uh, my favorite boys to girls. You'll just have to get the book to figure out why that one's really funny to me. Uh, Sudoku, Minesweeper, some old school stuff. Uh, travel bingo. So there's a bunch of pages with travel bingo on here. 
and that's designed to kind of tear out of the out of the book so you can give them out to your students along the way uh, and then some other extra fun storytelling games would you rather alphabet game all that stuff there's a whole bunch of these inside here I'm going to put a link to the description below for this book. You can get it on Amazon. Uh, I'd recommend grabbing one for each vehicle that you're going to be taking on your trip. So every vehicle has one and you can have a great time playing with that. Anyhow, that is what I've got for you today. By the way, if you just are looking for a game and being able to, or games, I've got a ton of games on playlists that you can click on, but I also have a free ebook and companion audiobook I'd love to give to you if you don't have it already and it's all about games a bunch of bunch of uh, like reasons why we do games in youth ministry which I don't think most people need that reason but there's a bunch of reasons in there a bunch of low prep no prep games plus 15 best practices to make you crush leading games because leading games is knowing how to is is really important just going up unprepared and trying to figure it out along the way not a great idea. I want you to be the best game leader possible. Or maybe you want to give that and hand it off to one of your volunteers or even a student leader. They will love having this to make them better at what they're what you're asking them to do. So that is what I've got for this. If this video was helpful and encouraging, would you click the share button and pass it along to somebody else that you think would benefit from this video? I greatly appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, do all of that stuff. That helps to this channel to grow. I'd really, really appreciate it. I thank you so much for jumping on today. And until next week, next, <laughs> and until next time, see ya.